Hey guys, this is Mr. 8 Crazy here, and in today's movie review, this is going to be on a, on a movie review, and it's, it's also an anime movie review as well. So, in today's anime movie review, I'm going to be reviewing the 1989 or 1992 anime film, Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland. Yeah, like, not, not to, because... Not to be not not to be confused with the Pixar and Nemo, like Finding Nemo, because this is the anime movie we're talking about here, Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland. So, so Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland is an anime movie that first came out in Japan in 1989 and was released in the United States on on in 1992. And so the the English dub of of, of this anime film, like the the English dub, stars the voices of Gabrielle Damon and Mickey Rooney. And a bunch of other voice actors I know, like Greg Berger and and a bunch of others. But the the only two the only two people I know the most in this movie are Gabriel Gabriel Damon and Mickey Rooney. So <clears throat> Gabriel Gabriel Damon pl plays this plays this little boy na named Nemo, of course, who who basically each night he he goes on adventures. He he goes he goes to Slumberland and goes on adventures there. And, and 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 while he's at Slumberland, he he becomes friends with with the king, of course. But then, but then, but then one night, like Nemo, Nemo discover Nemo discovers Nightmare Land, which, which which Nightmare Land, like the king of Nightmare Land, actually put put Slumberland and Nemo himself in great danger, like very serious danger. So Nemo has to do whatever he can to to to, to stop Nightmare Land from 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 like you know, <clears throat> like he has to do whatever he can to to try and stop Nightmare Land from doing so. So. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so here, so here are my thoughts. So here, so so here are my thoughts on on Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland. Now that I explained the, the now now that I explained the plot, the summary. So, so when when I first watched this movie back in twenty seventeen, like I first watched this anime movie back in twenty seventeen when, but like back then when I wasn't really interested in anime back then, but. <clears throat> And when when I first watched this movie, I didn't really, I didn't really, I, at first I didn't really like it that much back then. But but I think but I think but I think ever since I ever since I got interested in anime last year in twenty twenty, I'm kind of starting to think I'm I'm I actually think this is I think I think Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland I I think it's a I think it's a pretty underappreciated like underrated anime film in my opinion. I now now I think I like it. Yeah, because the point the point is, guys, I I gotta say. I, I I regret hating this movie, cause cause I know there are some people out there who like anime and 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 of course I and of course I like anime now and so and I gotta say that this 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 anime movie Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland I, I I think it's a pretty I think it's a pretty pretty good movie. Yeah, cause and and I think and I think the Japanese animation in this movie like the anime the the animation is like very good like I think the animation is pretty good and it's like. Yeah, and the and of course the English dub voice actors who are in this movie, like they they did a good job as well. Like Gabriel Gabriel Damon did did, did a did a pretty good job as Nemo in this movie, and and of course Gabriel Damon was also the voice of Littlefoot from the first Land Before Time movie. And Mickey Rooney, Mickey Rooney did 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 good in this movie. And I do know Mickey Rooney that he was Todd in the Fox and the Hound, and he was in a bunch of other movies like Bay Pig in the City, and yeah. Oh yeah, and Mickey Rooney was in the Night of the Museum movies as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah, and, and plus, what's also interesting about this movie is that is that the is that when when Little Nemo Avengers and Slumber when when this when this anime movie first came out on VHS, like there 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 was actually some there was actually some like like some product promotions like like the like the VHS opening to to Little Nemo Avengers and Slumberland includes an animated commercial for Tropicana Orange Juice. And believe it or not, the Tropicana Orange Juice commercial that, that was featured on, on the Little Nemo VHS tape, like, the Tropicana Orange Juice commercial is actually animated by Pixar. I'm not kidding. Pixar Animation Studios, my all-time favorite animation company, has animated the, the, the Tropicana Orange Juice commercial that was featured on the VHS opening of Little Nemo Avengers in Slumberland. Yeah, and that and that's and that and that's and that's pretty interesting to know because because like I said, Pixar used to animate commercials back then, like back when they did short films. Pixar used to animate commercials back then before they did before Toy Story came out. And yeah, and of course the title does sound a little familiar from a later Pixar film that came out in two thousand three. I mean, Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland, and and of course we all know the Pixar movie. We all know the Pixar movie Finding Nemo, but the. 
But the, but this is Little Nemo Avengers and Slumber, Slumberland we're talking about. Because, like I said, I I, 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 do, I kind of regret liking... I, I kind of... I, I, meant, I mean, excuse me. I, I regret hating this movie. Because, cause, cause like I said, I first watched this movie, like... I first watched this movie back in 2017. And, like, back, back, when, I, back when I wasn't interested in anime back then. And I didn't like it back then. But now that I'm interested in anime... Now that I'm interested in anime since last year... I think Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland, I think, is good. Yeah, so... And I'm kind of starting to think I now enjoy it as well, since, since, since now I like anime. And plus... And there's a bunch of other anime I like, like like Bia Stars and um, Dragon Ball Z, Fairy Tail. Um, yeah, because I, I even have... I, I also have a few anime Blu-rays as well. And... And plus, I'm also looking forward to Be A Star Season 2 as well on Netflix when it comes out this July. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to mention, I almost forgot Danny Man, like the voice actor who is, he, he's also in Little Nemo Avengers in Slumberland as well. I, I kind of I almost forgot that Danny Man was, was in this movie. Like, he, he, he plays like, like Nemo's pet flying squirrel, like squirrel in this movie. And, 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 I, and I thought the flying squirrel in this movie, like the pet flying squirrel in this movie, I, I thought it was pretty cute. Yeah. So there you have it. There you have it, guys. So so overall, Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland is a, is a is a good anime film from 19, 1989. and I'm gonna give Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland. Uh, I'm gonna give it four and a half out of five stars. Yeah, yeah, because because I can imagine my I can imagine if I can imagine if I if I if I actually did if I because if yeah I'm gonna say four and a half out of five stars. That's my best rating. My old rating, I, th I thought was like 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 three out of five stars, like three stars. But now now that I like it, now that I like this movie, I, I now give it four and a half out of five stars. Yeah, because because I know because I know Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland was also it was also no known for its development hell. Like, like you know it's it's been it's been in development for many it's been it's been in development for many years, but but there were some like production problems like during production as well. Yeah, especially lots of the animators and writers I, I knew before, like Brad Bird and Ray Bradbury, which I do remember reading some of Ray Bradbury's books when I was in high school. But yeah, so if 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 you if you if you really like anime, if you if you love anime, if you're an anime fan, and if you haven't watched Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland, then I recommend it. All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for my that's gonna be it for my anime movie review on Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland. And so that's gonna be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mister A Crazy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.